Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria coming on today to do a flip through of two new journals that I have in my shop, in my Etsy shop, it's under the night moon. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a flip through today of both of these journals. I will have links listed below. If you're interested, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below for me. And then if you like to see more of the books that I make, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified. Okay, so here we go. This is the first one. This is a traveler's notebook that I've done. It measures eight and a half by about five with the ruffle and it is a soft cover but I've gone ahead and sewn some lace and things on there to make it a little sturdy and I've got some stitching this beautiful reprint here a very pretty rhinestone vintage rhinestone piece there it's left over from a necklace I have a vintage button and some beautiful lace holding it together and then um, I've stitched and used gold paint so that's what that shimmer is and of course vintage laces throughout uh, so here we go on the inside we have um, more of the lace covering the actual book and then I've made a notepad here with a secret pocket underneath you can store and messages, important ideas you may have. And then on here is just leftover papers that you can go ahead and um, jot down notes, people that you need to write letters to, etc. And then on this side, I've used a belly band. I've embellished with the usual laces, trims, some of my gold silk thread here. And then this holds a tag one of my vintage tags and then I've embossed this really pretty dress form so it's slightly raised above it's also stitched and then more of the thread and there's room for more under there that just holds tightly in there and then the next page Oops. so yeah so you turn the page here and pockets Holding tags, a little flip up here. You can add pictures under here. You can journal. Plenty of space to um, do collage. You can junk journal. This is a pretty little card on here that's also been stitched. Did a lot of stitching in this book um, just for texture and stamping. Of course, the tea dyed papers here. Uh, I have another in pocket here, embellished. I've also used some of this craft ribbon up here. And then embellished down here with embroidered trims, some fringe trim. This is vintage graph paper. And when I put it in the water, you can kind of see here. It just, the ink came off and made it this beautiful aqua color. So I really love how that happened there. Get some more tags some washi these are some attached tags you can go ahead and add pictures to you can journal um, another little collage of things up top there and this is a little flip with a button that i've sewn on and this is also sewn around and it's actually a pocket holding a few more tags again more space to journal Plenty of room for pictures, your daily um, things that you would like to write. This is a page from an American um, design book that's really cool. And it's got all kinds of just beautiful um, furniture. You'll see more of that in my journals coming up. It's a little tuck spot here. It's a little silk bow from my mom's studio here. And then some music paper, another little pocket, a little collage with some more bits. Lots of space to write in this journal. A lot of uh, plain, plain pages. 
some more flips, places to add a little picture, and then you can journal on the pages. Um, I've gone ahead and given you several pages of this heavy cardstock. This is actually the center of the book. It is one signature also, too, I forgot to mention. I've sewn with this really pretty red thread. And then this is just a collage. I went ahead and used this pretty uh, bridal trim and then just added these little pearls for some interest and stamping of course. Added this trim along the edge, this vintage trim. More pages with washi. And then we have another decorated pocket here with more cards, places to write. This book would be lovely as a gift to someone who likes to journal. Maybe they've never seen a junk journal before. This would be fun to give them. And then this here is a flip out, which has three pockets, one here, one in the center, and one here, and then one on the back. So a lot of storage on there. This is a vintage music paper, and it's already got some tags. This is the other side of that really cool chair. A little stitched envelope. And a button, more of that bridal trim. More pictures of that book, very cool. This is another little pocket. Another little fabric flip. This I thought would be fun to add pictures. Maybe you had a summer outing with some friends and then you've got room for on the back and then you can journal about the outing right here if you like. thought that was fun to just add a place for several pictures. More journaling space, some more tags, a pretty vintage lace up here. This lovely image of a glove and they are advertising um, hooks I guess to keep them on. I think that's really cool, very pretty. And then we've got a few more pages. Oops, I paper clipped the two together. More pages here and here. And then the end of the book is this very thick cardstock, which I've also stitched this pretty rose fabric on. And then that holds another pocket with a tag and I've stamped this really pretty vintage glove and embossed and then stitched some laces on there, sewn a button, and that goes right in here. So that's this book here. Um, the links will be down below. If you're interested, these will be in my Etsy shop. And it just closes like this. So that is book number one. And here is book number two. This one's a little more elaborate. It's also um, uh, stitched and sewn. It has one large signature. And this is a two and a half inch. And let's just make sure it's, okay, two inches. Um, a two inch spine. And I did that so that you would have lots of room to grow. So there's plenty of room in this book to keep adding if you like to do the chunky style books like I do. <laughs> okay, so this has this really pretty crochet piece to hold together. And then this is the cover of this book here. And I have a lot of things on here to start with this pretty three-dimensional rose with some seam bindings. Some I have dyed with different dyes and some are just regular. I've attached a really pretty um, vintage, I think it was a button. It's really old, it's really pretty. Again, I didn't want to cover it in glue so I just attached it with one of these little pins. And you can put it anywhere in the book you like. I just really think with the rose it looks really pretty. There's a wax seal 
some bridal trim, more trims over here. There's several pictures that I've collaged together to make the cover all of different roses. And then the crown here has rhinestone trim attached to it. And it reads, expressions of love together forever with no bounds. I like for my books to take people away, think about something else in their life when they're, when they're working in them. And so hopefully this book will just take some away and think about a loved one or something that they love, a memory, and just journal about it. I have a vintage fabric covered button here for the closure. And then you open and we come to a pretty large tag. I mean, a pretty large pocket, excuse me, with a lot of room in there. Here, another uh, pocket. It says ever and ever more. And there's gold paint pretty much throughout this book just to add some sparkle. And then you turn this, there's another pocket here. I've gone ahead and given you plenty of tags and ephemera, but there's a lot of room for more. Um, a little notepad here little secret pocket up above the notepad. I actually have the word secret on there. And it's a little, a little pocket there. And then there's a mixture of paper in here in case you just aren't in the mood to write, but maybe you want to color in with some gel pens or colored pencils. So I gave you a few pieces of this pretty floral. And then there's some tea dyed paper underneath. This is on a embossed piece of cardstock, just for excitement, you know, something interest, something different. And then you've got another pocket on the other side with little journaling papers. Another place to put maybe a picture or a journal. You could even do a pen and ink drawing there. This could definitely be used for an art journal. There's plenty of space, a lot of little papers and things to, to draw, sketch, journal. It says up here, don't forget to laugh. And then you open to another pocket here. Lots of storage, more embossed paper here. It says stay strong down here with some vintage embroidered fabric. Some music paper, again more of this craft ribbon, another page to journal on. These have been coffee stained. This is actually the graph paper from the other book that I was dyeing together and the ink ran off on this paper. I just think that's really cool. And then we've got another pocket here. This says explore beauty and truth. And then another little pocket up here. This is a pretty fussy cut rose. Again, another place for a picture. Or you can do your own collage on here. Maybe you have some special pieces of ephemera that you need to put. This is a good place to add all your special things. It says worry less. And then this is my French handwritten cookbook. And that's a page from there. I'm not sure which recipe this is. When we get to the other side, we'll see. Uh, this says, believe in your dreams. There's another pocket here. And this has one of these neat little um, add-ons I like to use. And then this flips open. Ooh, sorry about my focus there. Another place you can put a little picture in there and then another one here. This is a tuck spot holding one of my little tags. It says, come away with me on the bottom. And there's room for more in there. And then this, oops, that's the gold paint. This opens up to another pocket here. It's a pretty butterfly. And then more, there's that graph paper. And then more plain pages. This is just the gold paint, wasn't fully dry. Um, I'll have to fix that. Ah, it's attached to my crown. <laughs> okay, so there we have just a really pretty rose, probably one of my favorite rose 
um, images that I have. I use it pretty much in everything I do that's rose. This flips open and then there's the little crown. And then I've got some more of that really cool craft trim there. And then more plank pages for pictures, journaling, collage. This is actually a little envelope in here. And that holds another pretty rose tag. Lots of tags, lots of pockets. And then here's the center of the signature. And I've attached a leaf that says Kindred. And I've decorated it just because. <laughs> and then here we have a music page and a cool little shoe, vintage shoe. And then this actually flips down. You can journal, add a picture, do a fun little drawing. You can add stuff behind. And that goes there. This actually, oh, the gold paint. <laughs> this actually opens and it can store receipts, um, little poetry, anything that you have written can get tucked away in there. And then another little tuck spot. This is some pretty embroidered trim that I got. Oh, my gold paint. I think living in Florida, the humidity. Um, so you can see the gold paint there. And then this is another little tuck spot. This is actually from Henry David Thoreau. This is a quote. It says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined. And that's embossed. So I got that in there. Another pretty floral page. The side pocket and then a center pocket. In here. So you can see that's the pocket there. And then on this side has another flip. And then this has another flip. And then, okay, so the recipe was for pizza. <laughs> so that's there. This is another little flip. You can add pictures. You can even write the recipe down up here. More space to journal. Tags, more pockets. A little belly band holding a really pretty piece of paper that can be journaled on. And I just have it folded over the side. So it comes out like this. You can journal on it. And it doesn't have to fold over. I just thought the pink and this green look really pretty together. So, oh, and the pocket on that side, of course. And then moving along, just some more journaling pages. Another pocket. This is a little flip. You can. Uh, fussy cut rose there, and then you can add pictures, write a, p a poetry. This is kind of a romantic little page. Take you away. More journaling paper. Belly band holding tags. Another belly band. Pocket. Another embossed page here. And that's also a nice heavy duty pocket. And I've gone ahead and added this cool piece of ephemera, but you could put pictures in there, receipts, all kinds of stuff here. And then this is the last page here. It's a embossed glassine bag. Just a floral pattern. And then I added this piece of ephemera for strength. I've gone ahead and given you some tags, another little envelope, a little library card. Those go in there. Lots of room for more in there. Lots of crinkle to that. And then the back page has another place 
This is another place to um, put a tag. More on the back there. And that's the bag. Some pretty embroidered fabric of mine. Lots of trim, seam binding. And then I've covered the stitching with this pretty, it's actually a pink and white gingham. And then I put the lace over it, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I've got these embroidered flowers here. So that concludes the video. The two uh, books will be in my Etsy shop. I will have links below if you're interested. Thank you so much for staying and watching. I know this might have been a long video. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.